pag-uusapan natin ngayon actually is how to make you communicate better. Communication is very important, both personal and professional. Kasi if you know how to communicate with people, okay, you are not just transferring a message. You are creating a connection. Everybody say connection! Connection! Dapat may hagod eh. Connection! Connection! <laughs> when you're at work, if you're able to connect with your colleagues, you'll be able to work better. Tama ba? Yes. 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 <laughs> sa relationships, sa dating, sa asawa nyo, sa girlfriend nyo, sa boyfriend nyo, mas maganda ang relasyon, mas maganda, mas mag-work at relationship, pag maganda ang communication. Tama ba ako? Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, by the way, let me show you something. Ah. Oh, okay. Did I tell him to shake my hand? <laughs> That's the power of gestures. You don't have to use your lips. You don't have to say a word or make a sound. You just simply have to... Ano bibigyan na si Sir? You just simply have to move your body. Your body is a good tool to communicate to people. Yung matuturo niyo today is how to use gestures when presenting. Are you excited to learn this? Yes! When you are presenting something, okay? Iwasan niyo magtuturo ng ganyan. Naintindihan niyo ba? <laughs> diba? Parang... Diba? <laughs> Parang gangster yun. Diba? Diba? Kasi hindi mo, ang pangit, diba? Napakalus is painful. Bing! Bing! Diba? Ang pangit, diba? See, so here's a technique. It's very natural for us to point eh. But if you're gonna point, don't point with one finger. Point with all fingers. So, if I'm going to emphasize gestures, notice I'm using all my fingers. This looks more respectful compared to this one. Diba? Naintindihan nyo ba? Pangit, diba? First time sa kanya, diba? Diba? For example, I'm giving a speech. I'm presenting something to a client. This is open arms. Notice? Kasi kung ganito lang ako, and I'm explaining something, aantokin kayo. Diba? Parang magsalita akong ganito, parang ako pinapagalita, nag-i-explain. Diba? You will get bored, aantokin kayo. But if I move my hand this way, it feels like I'm connecting to you. Am I correct? Yes. Oh, ang iiwasan nyo lang, ha? Basta ganito ha, dito lang lagi ang distance niyan. <clears throat> Balik sa rib or sa stomach and then ang hat niyan. So when I'm explaining something, tingnan nyo ang dito ha? When I'm explaining something, I go to my stomach, I go back, para hindi naman pag buka ka naman, ewan, pula. <laughs> may isa iba-ibay mo naman, minsan ito, minsan ito, di ba? Sabay, di ba? Huwag ganito ha, kasi may iba, may ganito ha. Today, I'm going to show you something. Diba? Hindi ba yung meaning? Kaya nga sabi ko, dito tayo sa stomach daling, ha? Kasi pag dito, nag-iiba yung kahulugan, yung matay! Diba? So, lagi lagi dito, dito galing, ha? 93% of what affects your communication is your body language and sound of words. 7% lang yung words mismo. Hindi yung salita. Yung paraan ng pagsalita. Let me give you an example. Okay. Ay, sige. Pwede lang magamit ng mic. So, for example, I'm going to talk to a female office mate. So, yung mga girls dito, imagine ninyo, colleague nyo ako, kasama nyo ako sa office, tapos nakita nyo ako, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo. Hi! You look beautiful today. You look beautiful today. Girls, anong isipin nyo? Anong naramdaman nyo? Ayan. Hi, you look beautiful today. Let me let me show you my point. Wait, ko example ko ha. Okay. Hi, you look beautiful today. This is my second example. Hi. <laughs> you look beautiful today. <laughs> Do you see my point? Your actions, your tone of voice, will change the meaning of what you say. Let me repeat. Your actions or your gestures and the tone of your voice or even the speed will change the meaning of the words you are saying. Pag inisip nyo, Hi, you look beautiful today. Wala akong sinabing masama. Diba? Tama ba, girls? It was a good compliment. 
Pero nung kumanto ako, Hi, you look beautiful today. Anong dating ng girls? Parang manyakis, di ba? Sorry? Yeah? Ano, sorry? Parang pervert yung dating. Yung yun yung point. O, oh, ito, tinan nyo ito, ha? Sa selling. Sa selling. Tinan nyo, ha? Sir, uh, I would like you to see the product. Ito. Bili nyo ito. Good quality ito, sir. Promise. Di ba? Pero pag ito, Sir! Good quality ito para na ito. Promise. Bili nyo ito. Di ba? Di ba? Medyo exaggerated version yun. Pero if you notice, I've been using the same set of words. Dahil yung gestures ko lang mali, and the uh, tone of my voice mali, nag-iiba yung meaning. So this is scientifically proven. So, nakita nga yung importance of using gestures when you talk. So, ano, every time you present something to your client, to your colleague, you practice it. And ito guys, if you want to add drama, if you want to add uh, emphasis on something, you pause. Which I just did. Diba? So, now you know the importance of using gestures, use it. Diba? Put a pause in between your sentence. So when you're giving speeches, di ba? When you're giving talks or uh, you're presenting something, you want to emphasize, pag gusto nyo lagyan ng drama, pag lagyan ng pause, di ba? So, I'll be very straight to the point. Speed is very important. Kasi ganito guys, kung tutok sa nito, may mahitig na ba kayo? Umakulong ng utak niya, pag nag-explain naman ganito, di ba? Medyo exaggerated, di ba? And very important is clarity. Alam nyo guys, ito yung pinaka problema sa Pilipinas. If you go to Japan, you go to Singapore, you go to Taiwan, ito yung maritinig nyo sa train station nila. Train is coming in 5 minutes. Train is coming in 5 minutes. 5 minutes na natin talaga yung train. Malinaw, di ba? Kind of line up, door is opening. Diba? Ganun, pupunta ka Japan, Singapore, Taiwan, Malaysia, nagkalig din ako doon. Ganun kaklaro ng MRT. Clarity is very important. Diba? So, whatever you learn today, slowly, paunti unte, try to apply. If you apply more often, it will become a habit. Once it becomes a habit, may kita nyo mag-improve yung performance sa work. Ayan. Okay? Can you read? It's not about intensity. It's all about consistency. So create a habit. Hindi parang sinubukan nyo, eh isa dalawang beses nyo lang subukan. Do it all the time. Do it every day. The more you do it, the more it will become a habit. Diba? When it becomes a habit, it will make you a better person. It will make you perform better. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Jerry. I hope you've learned a lot today.